explodes is like a fish eye. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Yes, thank you so much for staying subscribed because we haven't uploaded in two weeks. I know guys, we're so sorry that we haven't uploaded in two weeks, but it has been really, really difficult to come up with ideas that you guys are going to want to watch. We Literally, don't want to just put content want, out yeah, there. Yeah, we didn't want to just post for the sake of posting. So yeah. we're, we've, we've been really having a good think about you know, what's actually going to interest you guys, what's going to interest us, and, and yeah, yeah what's and it's been really hard. So, plus, we've been working non stop, yeah, we? a lot. I'm just gonna close that door so that the background looks pretty. Oh so, yeah, we apologize for not posting in two weeks, but things have been really difficult, idea wise, creative wise. So, we didn't want to just put content out there just because. So, we're back. Also, speaking of that kind of topic, if you guys have any ideas that you want us to do for videos, please comment them down below because we'd be happy to do what you want to see because we have no idea what we're doing. And uh, if a YouTube algorithm favors us and actually kind of promotes this Hi, video YouTube. out to people <laughs> that uh, don't subscribe to us already, then a quick kind of overview of who we are. My name's Sam. I'm Monica. She's Monica. We live three and a half thousand miles away from each other. We're in a long distance relationship and we're engaged. And we've been on lockdown together for four months. Yes. So the whole point of this video is we have been together now in lockdown 24 hours a day for over four months. Yeah. And Monica like, arrived at the start of February, didn't you? Yeah. And like you said, because it's lockdown, there's really nothing's open. So we've literally just been together in a confined space for so a very long time. Generally, when we visit each other, we visit for a month to two months or so. Yeah. We have friends in each location and stuff. So, you know, I can go and visit friends when I'm over in New York visiting Monica. She can go and visit friends when she's here in Chester in the UK visiting me. You know, we go out to different, like, uh, you know, we go out to restaurants with our friends yeah. and see our friends and hang out at their we're houses social. and stuff like that. Yeah. So we don't spend 24 hours a day with each other when we're with each other. But while we've been stuck in lockdown for the past four months, and we are very, very fortunate to yeah. be able to do that, just firstly, I just want to say that, um, we realise that we're in a massively lucky, fortunate position yeah, to be able to spend 100%. this time with each other. Because we know a load of you guys watching aren't that lucky and you you haven't seen your partner in months, potentially every yeah. year, which is... And I can't even imagine that. So we've actually learned a lot about each other, which is kind of weird considering we've been dating for almost five years. I thought I basically knew everything about you. But during this lockdown, we've definitely learned a few things. Yeah. So we're going to talk about what we learned about each other. And then we also have an update on what's going on because things have been happening. One of the things that I have definitely learned is that sometimes we need to be alone. And it's not that we're in a fight and like get away from me, but like it's so good to have alone time because obviously from traveling back and forth, we have months apart that like we're just independent. But obviously being in the same house this whole time, it's kind of hard to be independent. So we've had to have a lot of alone time, but it's a good thing that we've done that. Because I feel like we probably would go a little bit insane. Yeah. Like married couples don't spend 24 hours a day like in the same room. Literally. And and you know what's crazy? Like seeing on social media and talking to our friends and stuff that actually are married and living with their partners and stuff. A lot of them have been saying like, oh my gosh, I'm going crazy in lockdown yeah. because, you know, I, I have to actually talk to my wife. And we're like, what? Yeah, like, like, is that the whole point of being? But I mean, <laughs> for most people, they, they spend eight hours a night sleep. And then they spend, say, eight hours in work, so that's 16 hours out of 24 hours. Yeah. That, you know, when they get home, they maybe eat together, they have a chat and stuff, go, go play some video games, maybe they'll read a book, say, for four hours or so. So generally, over the course of a day, they're probably only spending four yeah. hours together or so. Yeah, and I just want to say something. <laughs> it's going to sound really weird, but I don't know if it's a normal thing. But, like, I feel like because we found such a good mixture of how to be alone but also spend time together, we're still as obsessed with each other than before lockdown like having to go back and forth because we're basically living together right now so like a few minutes before the video he literally just like picked me up and i was just like cuddling into his arms and it's just like is that normal yeah you were is saying like, like is that normal like, like do couples, most people do this i feel like most couples would be going crazy right now but we literally i feel like we've gotten so much closer and more in love which i didn't think was possible and we have. So that's something I really like. Like, I'm but really happy. But it hasn't all been positive. Like, oh, absolutely I've had, We've had times where we've had disagreements. Yeah. We've had little spats. We've, you know, we've had little tiffs. Especially when it's hot. When, when it's, it's hot, hot out, oh my gosh. We can't when we're stressed room. with work, when it's hot, yeah. when we're hungry. That is the main oh, time, yeah. isn't it? But, like, yeah. when I work, oh. I focus on my work and I've got my head in the game. And don't start singing exactly I'm from right now. I see in my head. <laughs> but I've got my head in the game and I'm just really just focused on work. And Monica starts talking about something completely differently. And it's like... Oh, I just need to concentrate. So I sit there and like, some, sometimes like that, it really frustrates me. <laughs> we know though. It like, hasn't been perfect. That's what I want to say. We know like, like when it's hot, like not to really talk to each other. 
So as an overview so far, like we de- we definitely got closer, I think, during yeah. lockdown. And we've we've kind of figured out what each other likes and kind of our different kind of day- daily patterns a bit more, yeah. if you get what I mean. Another thing that I think I've learned is that I truly... <laughs> I've got a really itchy nose right now. And I don't want it to look like I'm picking my nose, so I keep doing it really obviously. <laughs> Another thing that I've learned is that I truly believe that we're going to have a successful marriage, like a really yeah. successful marriage because we've spent so much time 24 hours a day together, like we've been saying. And it's like you're saying, like, we've spent more time together than the average yeah. marriage couple. Yeah, but, it? like, I feel like we've literally fallen more in love, like, while being together 24 hours, which usually people get annoyed with their partner and, like, don't want to see them. I just feel like we've really narrowed down each other so well. That we know when not to talk to each other, like when the other person needs space, when the person wants. We've got. I feel like we've got to know each other so well that we that I know when you're stressed before you know it, and you know when I'm stressed before. Like, but but when I'm stressed, like the thing that you always do is whenever I'm stressed, I'm like I want to be myself. I want to keep myself to myself and just focus on my work and stuff. Is you always come up and cuddle me? You're like, I know something's wrong. Just tell me what's wrong. I'm like, stop asking me what's wrong. And you're no. like, yeah, but then you go, nothing's wrong. I'm fine. I'm like, I know something is wrong. Like, I want you to talk to me, but don't tell but me. But when I'm in wrong. one of those moods, like, it annoys me more when you ask me what's wrong. It's like, stop asking me what's wrong. <laughs> I just want to get on with my stuff. <laughs> it's like when someone tells you to calm and down, then, like, and you're like, and then, I am calm. Yeah, and then like ten minutes later, when I realize I'm in a bad mood, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm in yeah. a bad mood. What we've also been doing, and this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but what we've been doing is buying a bunch of like truth or dare games or just like question games and playing them with each other. And we'll link. Even though we like know everything about each other, it's still fun to go. Because like it's weird. Like once you've been in a relationship for a while, for you know a few months, a good few months, or at least a few years or so, it's weird like how much you overlook about the other person, but you Mm -hmm. know it deep down. So it's like. Going through these like games together and be like, yeah. what's your favorite color? What's your favorite movie and stuff? Yeah. It's like, obviously I know the answer, but we haven't talked about this yeah. stuff for ages. There's like a lot of really adorable questions. So we'll link them down below. Like I said, it's not sponsored if you guys want to check it out. And you can even do it virtually with your partner. That would be really cute. That'd if be you cute. buys it and then does it that way. <laughs> but <laughs> now... <laughs> I think now is a great time to talk about a little update that's been going on because we've been getting yes. a lot of questions and things are definitely not easy we completely understand that we're in a super fortunate position oh, yeah. to be able to be together like monica you came over at literally the perfect time yeah. and monica's visa is continually getting extended because well as you'll explain she cannot fly back to america yeah the last time we did an update i think it was how my visa got extended till the end of july was that I think the, it was the end of May was the last one, or the right? Or end of June or something? I can't remember. Anyways, I'll do like a quick overview. So I was supposed to fly back at the end of April, and then my flight got canceled, so they rebooked me to... Oh, well, they didn't rebook me, but they said they were going to find me a flight towards June 1st. So I was like, great. June 1st comes around, and they cancel the flight again. And then they say, okay, all the visas have been extended until the end of July. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not going to have to get home. So I was going to fly back mid-June, but then it got canceled. And then again? I was, yeah, again. And then I was going to fly back July 13th, and then that one got canceled. And then they moved me, finally. They actually took my flight and moved it to the next week, which was July 20th. I just got an email the other day that that has now been cancelled as and well. And Virgin are ignoring all communication. And Virgin have not been replying, so things are going great. But I legally, at this point in time, have to go home by the end of July. And even if I could stay, I just think it's however, best if I go home. However, we did call customs the other day. We've, we've been in very constant contact with the yeah. immigration kind of US, UK immigration kind of board, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. But Monica's basically got on the speed dial by this point. Yeah. You get through to the same guy every time. He, yeah. he, he's like, oh, it's, yeah, it's extended again. We spoke to him the other day. Monica explained the situation and said, look, I had a flight on the 20th of July. I've been looking at other flights and it's literally like there aren't any flights. The flights that, that, that are possible, they're either 32 hours long and they're fully booked up. Yeah. Or they're going from six hour drive away. And obviously I'm not really allowed to drive six hours for for no reason, like, you know, I'm kind of stuck here at yeah. the moment. And they're like triple um, the price of a round trip, more let alone just like price. a one way. Yeah. So we, we've kind of been in contact with the UK and USA kind of immigration board, whoever's dealing with it, I forgot the name, like I said. Yeah. But uh, we spoke to them the other day again, and they said that it's it's possible that the visa is going to get extended again. 
Um, so you don't need to worry about kind of, you know, overstaying and all that kind of stuff. However, it's just... I do have, I definitely have to go back by the end of July. Yeah. It's been so crazy. So as an update, I don't know when I'm going home yet. I'm still trying to figure out. I miss my family so much and my pets. And there's a bunch of other stuff as well. Like we're buying a house in the US at the moment. Yeah, and a car. Like and a, a car. car. We've got a car on Which order. Which we'll reveal later. Yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. The car is waiting to be delivered. We can't do that. You've got to sell your old car. You've got loads of people messaging so to, to, to look around it. Can't do that. Got to renovate the apartment. Can't do that. My it's... dog's been going to the vet and I'm her person. Like every dog is her person. The fact that I'm not with her like kills me every time I think about it. There's just a lot I have. To... And I miss my family. Just like yeah. overall, I miss my family. It's been almost five months but, without seeing them. I mean, as much as we're complaining about the little things, we do realize that we're in a massively privileged position yeah, like and we're really, said. really lucky to be together right yeah. now. It's but just, uh, this you know, is just the update. on a little tiny personal lo level in our own little bubble, obviously it's annoying. We'll get it figured out and we'll continue to update you guys, but as of right now to answer everyone's questions, I don't know when I can go home. And a lot of you have been messaging me, especially in our LDR support group on Facebook, which, by the way, if you're an LDR, join our support group. Yes. The link is down below. And another update is, I just want to say thank you because so many of you have been buying our bracelets that we mentioned a few videos ago. Yes. And... It makes me so happy. We're literally sending out new packs every day and it's just like, yeah, oh, it's, it's so like, cool. We're running out, so I feel like this is going to be our last like big push of them because we don't have many left. So if you guys want our distance bracelets, then check out the link below because we have a few left and yeah. And that's really all the updates we have going on. That's pretty much it. Oh, we've been filming a lot of podcast episodes, by the way. We oh, had our yeah. first two guests on the show. If you want to check out our podcast, Love Has No Limits, it's on Spotify. It's going to go up on YouTube and like a bunch of other platforms. Yes. But check it out. We'll put a link below. And uh, if you want to be a guest on the show, if you're in a long yeah. distance relationship or you're in a different type of relationship or you're, you're in a unique situation, whatever, if you want to ask questions, if you want advice, if you want to give advice or tell a story or whatever, then email lovehasnolimitspodcast at gmail.com and we'd love to have you on the show and just yeah, it's have a been good old really, chat. Yeah, it's really cool having like chats with Have a little chin whack. What? A chin whack. What is a chin whack? That's what British people say for a chat. I've never heard that one. A chin whack, because your chin whacks when you chat. Do that again. What, a chin whack? That's not real. Yes, it is. Google chin whack. We've actually, we've been uploading quite a lot on TikTok recently. Oh Monica's like God. blown up in there. She's got like, God. yes, you have. You've got well over 100,000 followers on there. It's incredible, honey. Thank you guys for following us on TikTok, by the way. Well, she's been doing this like little section of, of kind of British people reading out tweets and stuff. British, and, like, people, how British like... people Yeah, like how British accents work and stuff. And uh, yeah. He feels kind of, attacked. I do feel personally <laughs> attacked, but everybody seems to like it. So yeah, we'll, we'll continue. That. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hopefully it wasn't too boring because again, like we... It's not the most fun video, and we'll get back to those. And we really hope we you can. guys are staying safe and healthy. We'll see you soon. We'll see you very, very soon. Bye. Bye.